Hello, hello to all the amazing people and welcome to another episode of Terraformers. So yeah, let's terraform and turn Mars into a beautiful blue planet here in the Blue Path playthrough. This is my second uh, playthrough in this game. You can find the full place in the comment description below the video. This is the third part of my Blue Path scenario. The goal is to terraform uh, and get temperature, oxygen, oceans and atmosphere to uh two ticks up uh, turn 21 so still developing here so don't expect much terraforming just yet but we're uh, getting there just grab mariam which is really really good leader because she can uh, construct a drone hub for free so we get one uh, free robot uh that's pretty good it's pretty good because if we go here and check out the well where is the drone hub building yeah so this thing costs six power and six titanium. So basically like that's six resources for free and really important resources. But more importantly, you don't need a, a blueprint for it also. So like it's pretty good. You can get four science here also. So like she's really nice, but but I think I'm gonna be focusing on that mostly and get as many mines up as I can. You have a satellite here. Oh, I could get my science going here. It's gonna make people a little bit pissy because it's far away, but I think that's all right. Uh, do we grab this science? Maybe. I would really like development center. Also, getting bacteria spread relatively early might be a smart idea. Mm. It's almost as if this is more important because I'm playing a terraforming run, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Also, like, this city has a automated robotic workforce. I'm gonna have just, this city will just have population and <laughs> so this will be the one, the one city which will only have like population and stuff and robots, but there's no more room here though. Like we would need to remove this and I'm really short on power. So that's that. I can plop one down, like, here, maybe. Oh, this one's also, like... Yeah, either way, I'm gonna need to remove some rocks. Okay. So maybe remove this one here, then we get two more spots. Sure. Will this stop me from building a mine this turn? It will, right? Hmm. Okay, let's explore this first. Six signs and three silicates. Large meteorite. While prospecting the area, explorers have stumbled across a recent crater where a meteorite is still visible. They are normally pulverized on an entry and impact, but this one had the rare perfect combination of entry speed, angle of attack, mass, density, and ground composition to survive. We should study it to get an understanding of how it transpired. It's a significant scientific importance, this location. We can build a research station here. Large meteorite. Hmm. While prospecting the area, explorers have stumbled across a recent crater where the meteorite is still visible. They're normally pulverized. Uh, okay. So, research station would give me one science per turn, which is pretty cool. And we can also harvest these resources. This seems very lame, especially since I get a resource which I'm already really good with. So, yeah, I'm just gonna plop it here. There you go. The build a research station. Do I need silicates for anything else? Doesn't seem like it. This really came together nicely. Ooh. Exploration satellites need silicates though. Also, so does the train station. This would take loads of time to build though. I feel like right now this would be really good investment. Not sure if I should start working on it right away though. Build a research station there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see, some more mines and stuff would be nice. Yeah, if I build a drone station here, I could grab 3 of mine here. Yeah, I feel like any mine I, I build like propels me forward and forward rapidly, so. Okay, bam, wonderful. Um, and this lets me build another one, 
which would be able to like I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what they do. And this thing has a bus station, so I don't get penalties for like expanding really far away, which is just mm, delicious. What do we grab as a building? I already did. Okay, let me just end the turn. Oh, I can build a development center. Must be building a city. You can search one extra projects every turn. You can also have two extra projects in reserve. That's good. This is maybe better to do though. Hmm. Like how long before I can build this thing? Uh, I get four science per turn, so not super long. Although I will want to build exploration satellites, so... so this will definitely slow it down a little bit. Maybe it's not time yet for those. Am I gonna run out of stuff to build, I wonder? That's a good question. I might. With only one per turn and the rate at which I'm going. Okay, let's build a development center. I'm not sure this is the right call, but... Let's do it anyway. There, and... Space hotels. It's hard to build. A train station. We can always sell it for one science. So I'm getting an extra science now, basically, if I'm selling stuff, which I'm getting. So this building I built actually helps me get this one. This one doesn't help me, but this one helps me terraform, which is my goal. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now I can pick two projects, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know what else gonna help me terraform? A oxygen factory. And what is this? Research center. What is this? School. Yeah, I don't think I want that. Two extra projects will be proposed every turn. I'm not sure even if I want this, but let's keep it around for now. Okay, the space satellites are being built. That's good. Um, okay... I want to continue drone hubbing here, probably. I can build it there if I like to. I kind of had some kind of plan of putting a bonus building here, but... It's not really necessary. Also, we can move this if I want to. There we go. And I get an energy every time. Oh, this is insane, actually. I forgot about that. Gained one power and one titanium and constructing a robot. So she's really powerful. It's such a such a nice combo, actually. Okay, Neopia now has another spot it can go to. Um I need like satellites in two turns. That's why I'm building satellites. Like her build is too strong for her to do the exploration thing, that's the thing. What's this thing? Nah. Thermo generator. I mean, sure. Skyscraper. And I'm never gonna have enough. And this thing I'm probably also not gonna build, but I'll be selling some projects probably. This one's the most interesting, right? Yeah. Robos because of the bus station thing. Kind of. Okay, this is getting built. That's nice. Cultured meat labs. Plus this support per turn. No, I don't think I'll be building this. Too expensive. I'm just gonna remove it so I don't have to think about it. Wait, I should build this. Rover Exploration Center. Cost 9 Titanium, 5 Tritium. Gives an exploration action. Oh, this might be good, actually. Better than satellites. Faster kicks in. Now we're gonna have both. Public bats. 5 support per turn. Adjacent population gets 2 support per turn. Oh, no! 
Don't don't hit us! Don't hit us! It's an asteroid! Where did that thing come from? Hello! Oh. Oh, it's small. Looks so big when it was in front of the screen. Huh. <laughs> Why is this thing here? Wait. Is this thing gonna do something? Will it, will it crash? Will it cause an earthquake? Uh, a Marsquake? I'm, I mean... <laughs> oh, Marsquake. It's funny though, right? We call earthquakes earthquakes, but... Technically there could be earthquakes on Mars, but it's really stupid to call them earthquakes, so we decided to call them Marsquake, Marsquakes. <laughs> it's like, earthquake is when the, when the ground shakes, right? And in my language, earth and ground has the same word. So, the only thing is that one starts with a capital letter, and like, both is called Earth. The soil is called Earth, and, well actually, like the soil is also called Earth in English sometimes, no? Anyway, um, let's see. Robot hop or public bats? Yeah, I wanted to say that, like, I'm not gonna focus as much on, uh, on happiness. But, like, are we really grabbing the robot hot when we have Mariam? 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 Makes... seems a little bit silly, right? Seems a lot silly. And we're gonna be able to plop down another city soon, so it's not like we're gonna be running out of space or something like that. So I don't want to drop that, but if I need to, I can drop it here. Um, okay, there's the exploration satellites. What do we explore? Uh, I could grab a water mine here. You know what I really need though? Like, I need to get a plant spreader going? No. I need to get the bacteria spreader going, that's true. A rover exploration center gives an exploration action. The initial time scales with distance. <laughs> hmm. I could place it here, I guess. Do I? This will be a city location, I think. Like, I could place it here and explore there. That's so weird though, isn't it? I can place it here and then explore these three. Okay, that seems fine, actually. Okay, Mariam, I need your expertise once more. Uh, there we go. Bam! This is nice, I like it. Exploration report. Oh, it's a lava tube. It's a new city location. Mmm, juicy, actually. What's this? Tritium deposit. Oh, we can make two mines here. Oh my, oh my. It's a little bit crowded with rocks, but that's fine. Maybe we get the dude which removes rocks next. Hey. I have a lot of resources of all kinds. I think it's good that I placed a building down which can build things. I think it's time for an oxygen factory. 17 water. That's gonna delay my city. Quite dramatically actually so we're gonna need this thing I think plus six water build a water a pit mine oh two water oh extract water from oceans that might not be worst idea ever but like mm. hmm hum 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 let me think about that Maybe I don't need the exploration satellites as much now that I have this thing. 
Although this will explore here and then what? Yeah. Yeah, so basically I paid 14 resources to explore three times. That was a bit pricey, wasn't it? Wait, I can relocate reallocate this thing. Wow, that makes it super useful actually. Research center. Two extra projects will be proposed. I don't know if I want more projects to be proposed right now. I'm fine as it is. So I'm thinking about this thing. Yeah, not this one yet. I'm thinking about the mine. I need to control the location to build. Like really for to do this I need... Okay. I have this thing. So between this and this... We could... I mean I can grab it. Costs 8 energy though. Oh, I have a lot of energy for some reason. What? All those drones really paid off, I guess. <laughs> mm. So next turn I would be able to build a city. That's the thing. And if I build this thing, then I'm like, what? Three water short, which I can just explore for, basically. It doesn't even matter if I don't build a city right away, right? I mean, I still have places to build my drone hubs at. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's... <sighs> but this doesn't make sense to do, though. I wanted to build a mine, right? But I'm short of that. <laughs> actually run out of titanium. That's crazy. Mm. Yeah, I need titanium. Does that mean we're building... Yeah, let's build an oxygen factory somewhere. Okay, let's see. There. It started terraforming. In 31 turns, this thing will raise it by one. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be on turn 55 two terraformings down but I'm gonna be placing more of those in the in the meantime so maybe hopefully probably I don't know can't build anything else right now hmm Support's going down a little bit, but I think it's fine. It's the price of... Our explorers, scientists and engineers have come to the conclusion that we could build a city on the Martian moon Deimos. A moon city on Deimos would be the perfect base of operations to coordinate other space projects from. View Deimos. Technological advancements. New research projects have been proposed by our R&D department. Okay, house printing. 40 science. Gain to titanium and constructing a city building. Okay. Get reverse engineering, 15 science. Selling a project provides 10 support instead of 1 science. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. And get large scale resource conservation. When constructing a building that costs at least 40 resources, gain 10 random resources back. Yeah, but. What building does cost 40 resources? Nothing I have right now. Okay, I'll take this. This will be a little... Like... I'm not gonna even make it right away. This will be like, if something goes wrong, this can... Like... This is a dike. <laughs> it's a dike. Wait, what? This is Damius. Start funding. Gain the Damius City Space Project. Anomalies, a titanium deposit. Oh, that's so cool. Damus City. I have to like export a lot of resources to build it. Okay. Planetary Engineering Lab. Okay. I I think it's pretty clear what I do here, right? Another landing pad. And 
Import oceans from Ceres. I don't have any more room for this. But let's see what's more efficient. So this one costs 15 and gives 30. And this one costs 8 and gives 20. This one is more efficient, I think. Yeah, because this one's almost double the cost, and I really need titanium, so. Let's skip it here. Science per turn is decent. Yeah. Okay, I need to place this down. Oh, wait, what? Was that what it was? It was Damien's? No, this is way further away. So, I have to zoom out. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. It's some kind of expansion, by the way. You can zoom back into Mars by scrolling the mouse wheel. Okay. Um. Right, thank you, Miriam. You are really helpful, as always. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I want these things to be done faster, so... This thing would be very helpful with that. Let's see where can I build it. bus station yeah i can i can grab this and build it there unless i have another plan with it which i no, not really not that important okay bam cool there oh i actually don't have two of these per turn hmm there So it's not really going to speed up unless I can find some. And I can probably find some. Yeah, train station. That's not going to happen. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to the bacteria spreader. Uh, two turns, though, probably. Yeah. Okay, I can build another drone thing. Uh, let's see. Probably in mining colony. Yeah. Nice. I can build a plant spreader, but I don't think I can spread any plants yet, right? I need one rainfall. This is not so far away anymore, by the way. Like, if I build this thing and, like, pop one aquifier, we will have rain. So, it's pretty close. Just gonna sit on those nitrates and see what I do with that. We detected a strange asteroid. Yes, I saw it. <laughs> Whose trajectory will pass closely by Mars. Our scientists observed unusual properties on this asteroid. It likely originates from another solar system. Constructing a lab on its surface can create a, help us analyze its composition through roughly. Asteroid lab. 24 silicates. Ah. You have 12 turns to complete this project before it's out of reach. Yeah, I just don't have enough silicates for it. Hmm, it's an interesting opportunity, but... 24 silicates is just not something I can do. I don't think so. I'm checking if there's any silicate mines I know of. I guess technically... If I grab this and that, but like, I also have some other uses for silicates, like exploration satellites, so, I don't know, it's a bit too tight. Ah, uh, shame. Okay. A little bit short on water. <laughs> Plus on support per turn for every mine owned by the city. Hmm. It's a bit expensive. It does give one population, though. Ah, oh, that's interesting, actually. Regulate burner, plus one power per turn. Mm. I don't know. Okay. My, my little thingy is ready to go. 
I think it would be kind of cool to grab some science here. And get some food as well. I have loads of food. I could build a miner's cottage and still be able to build a city in a turn or two, which is fine. Uh, this mining colony here has like, what, one, two, three mines? We would get three, no, four mines. We get four support. Which doesn't, which isn't super a lot, but like... It's gonna kind of keep increasing, you know? <laughs> it is, I mean, it is a mining colony, so it makes sense to build a miner's cottage here, I think. Okay. And there we go. Now we're in positives. Cool. Not super important, but, you know. Everything adds up. I don't know if I want to spend cash on that, really. Like, instead I can sell it and build a bacteria spreader, which seems like a nice idea. Um, question is where, though? Yeah, that's a really good question, isn't it? There. Okay. <laughs> a little bit out of reach, actually. A little bit out of reach. I can do it next turn. It's not really... But will I be able to build it next turn? Oh, the pants. Yeah, actually I can. Okay, I can do it now. So I can tell Neopia to grab this thing. There we go. And I can tell the new Victoria to grab that. And then I can build it. Okay. And I'm going to be spreading met Metanogenium in our current region right now. Distance from selected life from spreader building. Recharge duration increases. Okay, so we spread it here. Bam! So now we're also raising temperature. The only thing I'm not raising right now is O2. So, okay. I can make a plant spreader, but we need rainfall for it. And I can actually build a generator. I need to tuck it in somewhere where it's not going to get in the way, though. Like next to the magnetic fusion plant. Yeah, sure. Bam. Okay. We're gonna need some silicates. We're gonna get some silicates next turn, actually. Oh, I need a drone hub. No. Beam. <laughs> Mariam's the best. I love her. Okay. By engineering progress. Okay. Arctic Hars. Hairs. Hars. Zero temperature, one oxygen. Grass at least one land location on the climate zone. Four prestige, six turns. Or forest. Well, I'll grab something that actually terraforms the planet. And that's something that just gives prestige. So I'm gonna go with this. Plus one atmosphere and plus one oxygen per turn. We need one temperature and one rainfall though. Not sure if this will work out, but we'll see. Another bacteria spreader might be interesting now that I think about it. And road paver depot. Not that interesting when you can spam robots, actually. So I guess we grab these two. And now we need to go and grab some silicates. There's some there. There's some there. One, two, one, two. This one's closer to the mining colony, but this is just support anyway, so it doesn't really matter, probably. F 
Flat plains. We can build a city here. Okay, and then... Ooh, titanium. I started kind of running out of it. Um, <laughs> so that might be good. Okay, I can finish this thing now. And I probably want more titanium. And I'm going to be selling that for titanium. Okay, I'm going to get another exploration thing. It's just really, really good. I love it. Okay. Bacteria spreader, that's fine. Working towards the next one, that's cool. Plant spreader. What's this? Tundra forest. Regardless of one rainfall on this. One temperature, one rainfall. Temperature. A little bit cold. It's minus one. So, like, we would need to raise it by two, which I don't think is going to happen. Minus three, like... Minus one. Yeah, maybe there's an area which starts at zero, and if we raise it by one, we can build temperate forest, but Alpine Pine Forest. Yeah, okay. I can kind of afford this relatively easily if I feel threatened, but that will delay the city. I shall be able to build in two turns. Speaking of which, if I do this, I can build the city next turn. Okay, there we go. And I think I said Neopia will like, yeah, Neopia also needs some robots. So she can place a couple more, no problem. It's not as great, but I wonder if I'm gonna do this or that. Can't decide really. Like, mining it would be really good, but also extracting it would be amazing, so... Because if we extract it, we can start spreading plants if we also do that, so... Um, yeah. Okay, I can enable this thing. Okay, my little car that could is ready. I can go and explore this thing next. Beautiful. Another city location. Hmm. It's quite open, which means I can build a lot, although I'm fine ish with energy. Although like I'm running out. If I build a CO2 factory, which I kind of do want to build, but I think it's smarter to get these thing, two things going first. No, this is just dike. Oh no, this is the mine. Ah, oh, never mind. I was like, hey, we can mine that. No, we can't. Okay. Dama City. I don't know if this is worth it. Problem with the Demo City is it's very good for science, you know, and for titanium production, apparently. Ooh, that's so tempting, the titanium production thing, because that's what I wanted to do anyway. Problem is, it's going to take up a lot of my import export slots, and um, those are kind of premium since I have a lot of nitrate. So, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> I also kind of want to get oceans going so I can drop this thing to spend my nitrates. I don't know if this is optimal, but I'm probably going to go with it. I can build a new city, though. Let's see. We can do this one. We can do this one. This one could go and mine this titanium, which is interesting. Especially if I'm going for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to get another source of titanium. That seems like a good idea. 
We'll see what I do with that water down there. Okay, this is a pretty good city actually. All adjacent locations must be explored. Ah, that sucks. Wait. Ah, oh, two more turns if I want to do that. We're not going to be able to place down two more robots then. Oh, that sucks. Uh, poof. But that's one last one for per turn for every adjacent rock. Wait. Didn't we have like a lava tube city? We did. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I can also make a CO2 factory. It's probably... I need this thing also. But this all costs... Titanium. Yeah, I'm a little bit in a pickle. Because I'm gonna build this city here. It's not gonna have any robotic workforce. And it's really hard for me to make population workforce. So I can forget about this and this, basically. And I need titanium. I guess we're just gonna be importing it. That probably means like I can delay this a little bit more, uh, sadly, but like... <sighs> right? If I want to build this thing... And I also want... Ah, oh, this is so expensive for what it does. Yeah, I don't know. I think the best for her is to just drop me some more drones where I can, right now, where I can. Uh, Planter Engineering Lab, 14 silicates, that's too much. Okay, I just grabbed this science. I want this probably. That's why I'm doing this, right? So I can build it. Minus one support per turn. Okay, I think here in the mining colony, I'm yeah, pretty much done. Laboratory, tritium chamber generator. Build CO2 factory. Bam, terraforming, yeah. Okay. Good. So for plants, yeah, I'm gonna need rainfall, but okay. I think it's fine delaying it a little bit. Oh yeah, the rising expectations three. It's it's happening. What's this? Homesteads. Yeah, I don't think so. It's cool, but that's too much titanium. That's too much water. And this is kind of alright, but I have already one ready to go, so I'm just gonna grab science here for that. And then, let's see. Yeah, I guess it makes sense, like here we have the automated robotic workforce. We place a couple more drone hops here. Get some nice bonuses from that. Yeah, next one's gonna give us a bonus. Okay. And then... Titanium. What do I want to build? Regulate burner? Maybe not even. Okay, let's stop it now then. Let's go for this. Maximum total. There. Android hop plus three robots. It's pretty good. Bacteria spreader. Okay, I do have one waiting. Do domed park. Domed park. Okay. I have one card too many, so I need to place down something. I think I'm gonna start tanking this because like I really wanna like develop here. Um Okay, let's do the cars first. So this is like three turn cooldown. 
Let's grab that, see what's there. 30 support, 2 nitrates. Your expression party has discovered a breathtaking geological formation. The wind blowing for hundreds of thousands of years has carved rock formations into beautiful shapes. People enjoy coming here for outdoor adventures. That's nice. We can make guided tours here if we need to. Yeah, I think I'm doing like pretty fine when it comes to support. I can get a lot of support going. This just bought us a turn and I have another exploration ready here. So, like, I can just grab these. To keep afloat. Your team has discovered an ancient exploration rover. Right, you can get the rover museum, which is like support and science. Kind of expensive, I don't have titanium for it. I just dismantle it for some resources, which is pretty good. I need resources. Okay. Then the next turn we're gonna get another exploration satellite, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I have way too much nitrates, so yeah. Plant spreader will have to happen. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, this is happening, right. So that means we would like do oceans here, which is fine, fine. And I can place my last drone up here. Bam, thank you, Mariam, you've been amazing. There, now this goes up to four and it's only minus 15 now. Okay, and any housing I put here will get four by default. So that's i don't do it because of that though i do it because i can claim these areas and then do something interesting with them like this one can claim this 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 it's gonna be minus support but hey we need to go through some rough times before we can prosper android hub kind of ready but yeah public bats it's cool but uh, we might need water for something else, so let's hold on to that. Same. Well, I could afford this now. So this will give me six support. It's not really that expensive. Yes, I use energy, but I think we finally stabilized with energy more or less. I need other things. There we go. Good, cool. cool. Okay, so now it's only minus nine. That's like, we have a lot of turns before this kills us, so. And I want to finish like, what, in 30 turns? By turn 60 maybe, if I can. That would be pretty cool. Setting a project provides 10 support instead of one. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that just yet. But yeah, I don't think I need more support buildings. Maybe I shouldn't have built that. It is nice, but it's also not pricey. Ah, whatever. Just let's just have people be happy, happy, happy. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna make a cut here. But first, we're gonna choose a leader. Hopefully, enjoy the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And well, stick around if you wanna see me, like, uh, read the new leaders here. Thank you, Mariam, for being amazing. And uh, yeah, she's gonna be replaced by Henry or Nyla. Okay, Henry Carnegie, Global Warming Expertise. Henry's industrial empire has often been criticized for not complying with global emission guidelines. He enjoys great popularity among the population of rural North America, where his steel mills and coal power plants create jobs for millions of working class families. But the rest of the world frowns on his disregard for the environment. To improve, like, millions of people working in coal power plants, that sounds crazy. To improve his image, he offered to support the Martian terraforming process by filtering out the excess CO2 produced by his factories and shipping them to Mars. Where increased global warming is a boon rather than a curse. Here, his dirty approach to industry would actually be welcome. Sounds like something we might need, actually. Gain plus 3 alpha cell, plus 3 heat, and plus 5 support. That's actually not a lot, but... Choose a mine. It immediately produces plus 5 heat and plus 5 atmosphere as well as minus 30 support per resource it mines. Can only be done once per mine. Mine venting. That's interesting. I think I can afford to do that a bit. Efficient mines. Constructing mines cost 25% less resources. Okay, and then got Nyla Bolat back. Diplomacy. Nyla was born in Kazakhstan, moved to Mars with her family at an early age, but spent most of her youth between the two worlds, in spaceships traveling from the red to the blue planet and back again. Her parents worked for the NGOs that encouraged close Earth-Mars relationship, and she followed in their footsteps. 
She's intimately familiar with the cultures of both planets as she grew up on the road and met people from all over the solar system, making her the perfect diplomat. Under her leadership, Earth and Mars are bound to come close together and form friendly relations that go beyond mere trade deals. Explore location gained in support, city of the year, select a city that produces its support a second time this turn. Okay, embassy. Plus to support per turn per trade route provided by the city, and then trade boost increases the number of trade routes by one for every yeah. So I'm gonna grab Henry here. He's just not powerful enough right now. I'm not. I don't have enough trade routes. I don't really need support. I don't need support. I don't need support. Rather, I'm thinking about using support here. So, welcome Henry. Henry Henry Carnegie, who should help us terraform the planet. Now here's the nice thing. Like yes. If we do this, we lose a lot of support, but this will let us get the heat and atmosphere up faster. So, like, for 150 support, which I can definitely afford, or like even 300, we can get 50 atmosphere and 50 heat from him, which is insane. And I think we're going to be doing that. I don't have 10 mines though. So we're going to do it as much as we can. I'm going to switch to this one here. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be a bit painful. But I think I can afford it. So yeah, I, I'm like starting to transition heavily into terraforming. I'm going to grab the, the, the oceans here. I'm going to grab the oceans here probably. And that's going to give me rainfall. And I'm going to start spreading plants because my plants require one rainfall. And then... Um, yeah, in every climate, but... Oh no, the average amount of rain in this climate zone is minus one. Oh, that's not gonna work. How about here? No, minus one. Oh, that's a shame. I'm not going to be able to spread plants. And I was so happy. Yes, we'll be able to spread plants here. This has zero. So once I raise it once, it's going to be doable. Minus three, minus one. Okay. Oh, it's nice. It's zero. Oh, that's beautiful. We can always see here. This is minus three, right? Yeah, minus three, minus one, minus one. Yeah, I don't have to hover over it. Okay, okay. I can make, I can do it here. In this region. Also, there's this region here. Oh, oxygen is zero. That's interesting. Right. But I'm going to end it here. Hopefully, enjoy the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do some nice things. Be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Terraformers. The Niamh signing out. Bye-bye.